Hi everyone, I am Ashley. I am reselling Farming Mom. If you keep up on my channel and my Instagram, you would notice that I have not put out a YouTube video in about a week. So tonight I'm going to show you some things that I've had sell recently as well as what's been keeping me so tied up. My husband and I, about a week ago, would you say a week? Yeah, about. About a week ago, we bought out a garage sale for the first time ever. This is very new to me. It was mostly clothes. There were over, we brought home 13 racks of clothes physically, but there were totes, there were garbage bags, there were racks that we did not get to take also full of clothes. I mean, we filled the bed of the truck three or four times just with clothes. Um, I'm new to clothing. I'm going to show you what my basement looks like. Please don't judge. It is a hot mess right now, but we are attempting to sort and organize it. If anyone has any advice on these clothes, I'm going to showcase a few awesome, maybe not so awesome and scary pieces. If you have advice on selling clothes and researching these clothes, I would love to hear it. If you could drop it down below in the comments, so we'll do the clothes and I'm, then I'm going to show you some of these awesome items I had sell. Stay tuned. Are you guys ready for this madness? Okay. So I got a shoe rack. Awesome. There's no shoes on it. I really wasn't up for trying to resell shoes that they weren't cool shoes by any means. And then we have all these sweaters. When I saw these sweaters, you guys, all I could envision was the Christmas movie with Tim Allen. You know, oh, he, Santa yeah, Santa Claus movie, the stepdad. He always had on these sweaters. These sweaters are where it's at. So then we have a great nightgown that I probably should have donated on our last run to Goodwill. A whole rack of skirts. So we already sorted through all this once. And all these skirts, I wasn't trying to take to my yard sale, my 127 attempt. Um, so they're still here. If anybody knows if there's money in vintage skirts, vintage skirts, you guys, let me know. I have probably 50 of them. All these clothespins are holding up skirts, guys. So then we'll move on. Check out this retro dress. Like it's, let me zoom in. Look at these flowers on it. You can see my husband already started numbering them in our attempt to stay super organized. So, and then I ordered these awesome clear poly mailers. I'll have to link them up down below. They're working out so great. Then we've got some vintage jean shorts. Oh, Peep Tucker the cat, just walking through my video. Okay, sorry, distracted. So then we have coats. All these, I think they're dress coats and blazers. And then, all right, I'm gonna sneak through to the back. My walkway is diminished lately. And these are more winter coats, wool coats, sweaters. This is a children's Ralph Lauren shirt I pulled out. I thought it was kind of nice. So tell me what you think. Can I make my money back? Is there a secret to this, guys? Because if there is, please help me with the secret sauce to reselling these vintage clothes. Let me pull a few pieces out and show you how cool they are. All right, are you guys ready for this? First up, I have one of the sweaters I told you about. So they're all quite large sizes. Okay, I'm going to come up a little closer. Look at all of the pattern on this thing. Like, it is so cool. So it's Jeffrey Bean new with tags size large like come on now pretty sweet huh then i have items that were more items that were new with tags so we have this pierre cardin size large button up shirt it's men's obviously i'm not gonna be rocking it but maybe i think it's a thing you know girls wear guys clothes too you know and then i have this van Heusen button up shirt New with tags also, you know, lots of clothes new with tags. And then we have mystery things. So these dresses, they're beautiful and vintage that we got. 
but these women's dresses don't have sizes. This is like a maxi three quarter length dress. Look at, it just goes on and on. We're in the basement, I'm sorry. So I can't lift it all the way up. But look at the detail on this. But if you look, I have a brand, but no size at all. Well, it looks like they cut the size out. I was looking at other dresses and I'm thinking if I measure it, I can list it like that. Cause I don't want to guess the size, but if I list all the measurements, can you do that? Let me know. And then look at this jean. It's not a jean jacket, but it's denim button up shirt. This is women's. It's a limited to this does not have the tags. I'll lift it up so you can see. It's really nice. It's got like a suede leathery collar to it. I don't think it's as vintage as it is just probably like early 2000s. I'm not a clothing expert, but I don't think this is super old, but it's still really cool. And then this blazer sports jacket. I'm not sure the di I think blazer is women's sports jacket is men. I'm not sure, but it's plaid. Look at this. Is that not cool? I feel like it's so retro. I mean, it doesn't have the tags. It's a, uh, I found the brand. It's down here. It's a Mr. B. So I'm assuming it's a man's jacket, but it doesn't have an inside pocket. What does that mean? I need to know, or at least I need to know where to research this stuff. I'm working on it. Actually, the hubby's working on it. It's his homework. And then, Hi everybody, so that was just a taste of the clothing that we have. I just took a really awesome take of this, but the hubby made me redo it. Cause you see this cutter mirror right here? I don't know, here, let me turn it a little bit. See this cutter beer mirror? If anybody likes cutters, I'm selling one on my eBay store, but you could see him in the reflection. So he's making me redo it. He's standing way far away now. So, um, but anyways, back to the matter at hand the clothing. If you want updates or to stay up to date and posted on the clothes, because I'm sure I will be doing more videos on them. I am totally overwhelmed when it comes to these. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get more notifications when I'm posting these YouTube videos. Also my Instagram, Reselling Farming Mom. I post reels on my Instagram. I love them. Those are great. You get to see my chickens. Who doesn't love chickens? They're so cute. And my ducks. Do you love ducks as much as I love ducks? But let's get to the what sold. Everybody's here for the what sold. What solds are my favorite. I don't know about you guys, but I've been told by a couple people that they like my what solds. So I have a piece from earlier this week that we did not get to showcase yet. So we are going to show you the items that I had sell earlier this week. And then I am going to show you the awesome items that I've got going out tonight. You can't see them, but I can see them. They're there. So. A few more items I had sell this week on my eBay store were two sets of four. I'm going to separate them out. Corel soup cereal bowls. They are the Corel Tulip Garden. They have a peach rim and a semi-flat rim. Um, these were in my Corel Goodwill haul video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up down below for you. I, my husband picked up a ton of awesome corral pieces for me at the Goodwill. So we paid 50 cents a piece at the Goodwill for plates, bowls, etc. So we are $4 in. Each set sold for $10, but since they went, the buyer was taking both sets, I accepted their $10 offer. Typically, I really wouldn't like to do that so low. So we are, you know, $16 in the profit. So it's all right, but you can see I showed the bottom before, but I'll show you again. Corel, they're six and three quarter inch soup cereal bowls. They were listed as soup cereal bowls. And they're going all the way to Colorado. So they had to pay a lot in shipping. So I'm happy I accepted their offer because of that also. I didn't realize they were going to Colorado until after I made the label out today. So good times. <laughs> the next thing I had go was 
a set of two Fostoria Amber Sherbert glasses, stemmed Sherbert glasses. Um, they were free to me in a garage clean out. Um, amber glass is not my thing, but I got it all for free. So I took it. I still have a little bit of amber glass left over here if anybody's interested in some juice glasses. I've got you on my eBay store. But free to me, sold the pair for $6.95. Not huge money, but as I said in my last video, bread and butter listings, they keep me going. Just like this next sale. My first ever video game sale. This is Mortal Kombat for the PlayStation 3. I honestly have no clue how much I was in on this. <coughs> Sorry. I was cleaning out the basement. It was my husband's. And we don't have a PlayStation 3 here anymore. So I was like, can I sell this on eBay? And he's like, yeah, sure. So I made $8 on it. Free to me. Don't know how much it cost him, but I made eight bucks. Woohoo! And the last thing I had go was... A shirt, a Cabela's, it's huge, so I will do my best. Cabela's 4XL uh, stone wash, it's like a sandstony beige long sleeve shirt. I think I paid $4 at the Goodwill when I was feeling like, hey, I want to venture into clothes when I don't know anything about clothes. It sold for $15, so that's not too bad, right? Wait till you guys see this is just the start though because i'm gonna start selling clothes like nothing because i bought out this garage sale last weekend so clothes are gonna be my thing hopefully you'll see what sold of nothing but grandpa sweaters because that's what i'm gonna be selling guys so welcome back so i've got an idea tonight i've got one two three five packages to ship out so we're gonna go from smallest to largest let's see if I can do this so first up clear glass with silver tops oil and vinegar cruets they are five inches tall they have their O and their V and they've got a little pour spout they're unbranded I got these for free from a family member that was downsizing they sold for $8. Another item that was free to me from a family member that was downsizing is this lead crystal drum, like drummer boy drum. Um, it's from the Czech Republic, 24% lead crystal. Let me zoom in. This is how I knew this. I just don't know that this magical glass is lead crystal. Wouldn't that be cool if I did though? So it's very heavy. I'm a little nervous to ship this. I'm gonna double box it. I don't know I have double boxed in the past but I'm definitely double boxing this so but it's pretty um I got it from grandma she used to put like little Christmas bulbs in it or Christmas candies in it so cute I used to put little drink mixes in it like the little water bottle drink mixes but now I have more dishes so lead crystal drum just had to go it sold for nine dollars by the way <laughs> It, um, it was listed for about a year, so I was happy to see it go. Then I have, ooh, this is a tough one. I don't know if we'll go with this one. You'll have, I mean, you'll have to let me know what you think of my smallest largest because I'm not sure who, it, what the next item would be. So we're gonna go with this Fabergé Santa. I'm not gonna take it out of the box because the picture looks just like the Santa. It is in great condition. It is a Santa's Wishes. Sienna by KSA. Um, it says Fabergé. I opened it, took pictures, listed it. I did not do well on this. I saw this at a yard sale. I bought two of them. I got super excited. I jumped the gun. I didn't look it up. I paid $15 for it and it only sold for 20. So I still made a little bit of money, yes, but after fees, it's not very much. I learned my lesson the hard way and will never buy a Fabergé Zana without looking it up ever again. So, there's that. So, do you think that the Sienna was smaller than these plates? I think so. I know it was lighter. This is a set of four. 
I'm gonna show you that I have four and then I'm gonna set them down and grab one. They're very heavy. These are beautiful 10 and a half inch dinner plates. They have a slight rim to them so that your gravy don't slip off the side. These are Keltcraft by Noritake. They are East Fair Ireland dishes. You know how I know all that? Cause it says it on the back. If I can get Noritake at a good price, I buy it. No matter if it's big or small, if it's fine china or if it's just a standard dinner plate. Um, dinner plates, 50 cents a piece, $2 in, sold all four for $32. They've been listed, I want to say two to three months, which really isn't that bad. So I'm really hoping that the buyer sees that I have the gravy boat and some smaller plates also in the same pattern and they come back for more with their awesome 20% off coupon they get in the mail with their package. Do you guys send out thank you cards? I do. I definitely know this last item is the biggest item. There's no competition. So I can't show you this whole thing guys. This is a 36 by 60, I'm pretty sure. It is a Coors Light Welcome Race Fans Silver Bullet uh, sign, placard. Here, give me the space. Okay, so let me. All right, I know you can't see it all in its entirety all at once, but I'm going to back up and I'm going to go a little bit over. I have. I have another one for sale in my eBay shop. I'll link it down below so you can see the full picture of it. Um, it's in it's new old stock. I have got them brand new. Um, each corner is riveted to be hung, which is very nice. There is a single stitch around the whole entirety of it, so it's not a flag material. It's like a vinyl-y plastic. I want to say it's really cool different piece it's not too heavy free to me because it's beer memorabilia that i got from a family member that was downsizing as everybody knows or you do know if you follow me if you're cool and you follow me you know i got all the beer stuff for free right now and i sold this sign for 17.95 so that's all i've got going out tonight um, if everybody could let me know what you think on the clothes or if you could leave comments down below on where I can look up these clothes or research them a little bit, I would greatly appreciate it. And also, one more thing, Backroad Bitter is awesome and he mentioned my Mason's Root Beer clock in the comments on one of my earlier videos. So I was going to pan over, I've got this, I can do this and show you I've got Lots of awesome clocks. A Dr. Pepper clock over there. Let me let me turn it a little bit more. And I've got a squirt clock over there. I've got some pretty cool clocks, guys. I'm not going to lie. I hope everyone has a wonderful night and stay safe. Bye. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.